Hey scientists, let's take a closer look at our neighbors. Well wait, I mean, let's take a far off look to our neighboring planets in our solar system. Before we start with the planets though, let's take a closer look at the star at the center of it all, the sun. Our sun is approximately 4.6 billion years old. The sun is a source of nearly all of the energy on our planet. It's huge. It accounts for more than 99% of all of the mass in our solar system and would take about 1,300,000 Earths to fill up the sun. The sun is a ball of hot plasma, mostly hydrogen and helium. It's responsible for our days and our seasons. But let's look at our planets orbiting our sun. The first planet is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet, and since it's the closest, it also has the smallest orbit. It only takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to make a complete revolution around the sun. Mercury rotates much slower than Earth, and its day lasts about 176 Earth days. Mercury is mostly made up of heavy metals and rock, and has been visited by NASA's 1974 Mariner and 2004 Messenger. Let's look at our next planet. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system due to its thick atmosphere. It has the slowest rotation at 225 Earth days, and it's roughly the same size as Earth. It rotates the opposite direction from the Sun and most other planets. It takes Venus 243 Earth days to orbit the Sun and is the brightest thing after the Moon in our night sky. It's easy to pick out and is often called the evening star and the morning star. The next planet is one you're really familiar with. Earth is a terrestrial planet with a perfect combination of water, temperature, and atmosphere that enables it to support life. Earth is the closest planet in our solar system that has a moon. Our moon is the fifth largest natural satellite in our solar system. The moon orbits the Earth in 27 days. It's only 384,000 kilometers away, and it's about one-fourth the size of Earth. Our next planet is our last terrestrial planet, Mars. Mars is called the red planet because much like Oklahoma, the dirt has a high concentration of iron. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Dimas. It's a little bit larger than half the size of Earth, but Mars has ice, but none of it is liquid water. Before we get to our next planet, we have an asteroid belt. This asteroid belt is made up of rock chunks that some scientists speculate are the remains of a planet that broke apart a long time ago. The next planet is quite a bit further away. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Its diameter is about 11 times that of Earth, and it's our first gas giant, meaning it's mostly made up of gases. Jupiter has a whopping 79 moons, but most notable are Io, Europa, and Callisto. Due to Europa's liquid water, Water oceans that can be found under crusts of ice, many scientists point to this moon being the most likely place to find extraterrestrial life. Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets at 9 hours and 55 minutes and an orbit of 11.8 Earth years. The giant red spot is a supermassive storm that has been ongoing for at least 350 years and is so big the entire planet Earth could fit inside of it. After the Sun, Moon, and Venus, Jupiter is the next brightest object in our sky. The sixth planet in our solar system is Saturn. It's the second largest planet, and even though all four gas giant planets have rings, Saturns are the most notable and are one of its biggest claims to fame. One Saturn year takes 30 Earth years, but one Saturn day is only 10 to 11 hours. This planet rotates so fast that it actually flattens and elongates itself a little. Saturn has 62 moons, but Enceladus and Titan are the most popular because they might support extraterrestrial life, since both moons have liquid water. Enceladus under ice and Titan under its thick atmosphere. This is the fifth and last planet visible with a human eye. The next planet is Uranus. It has the coldest temperatures of any planet and is often called the ice giant. Like Venus, Uranus rotates the opposite direction and it takes only 17 hours to rotate. Uranus lies almost on its side and it takes 84 Earth years to orbit the Sun. This planet has only been flown by once by the Voyager 2 in 1986. It has the second most defined rings in our solar system. The further out we go, the less we know about each planet. It's just because it's so far away. Let's move to the eighth and last planet in our solar system, Neptune. 
which is named after the Roman god of the sea due to its lovely blue color. Neptune is often referred to as Uranus's twin since they are nearly the same size. It takes about 18 hours to rotate and 165 Earth years to orbit the sun once. It was also observed by Voyager 2 but wasn't discovered until 1846. When comparing the planets in our solar system, an easy way to remember them is by creating an acronym or mnemonic by taking the first letter of each planet's name. A very common one to help us remember is, my very excited mother just served us noodles. Now let's look at a question. 